rough energy here going on, okay? Because we have heart chakra, blessing in the sky isn't time to go. So some of you have ended a relationship and it's time to move on and, and you really need to work on yourself, okay, and your heart chakra and you need to listen, right? Okay. Not only listen to your intuition, but um, quiet your mind so that you can listen to the the reassurance of the other side, right? And stay quiet and receptive in a receptive state. And you're going to do that by the end of the month, too. you got the Four of Swords, okay? But let's start it off. Anyways, the overall energy is the Seven of Swords. This is um, use of tact and diplomacy. So there's this need for you to... you. Be tactful, right? There's some sort of falseness that's going on with this card, okay? Then you have the sun underneath it, and then the four of cups. So the sun is going to shine out, out over all this, okay? But there is this death card here. This is endings. This is opportunities for a new life or, or, or transformation, old way of living and coming into your own and a new way of living, okay? This is also a Scorpio card. Some of you guys could have ended things with a Scorpio or this is just about transformation, okay? And then we have the Hierophant. This is seeking answers, study of beliefs. Um, and I feel like that's what you're doing here. You're really taking a time out and trying to figure out uh, what the truth is. And, and not only that, but uh, working on transforming yourself right because we've got the seven of cups this is a challenge of, of choosing action it's like this girl has got so many options she just doesn't know which one to pick this has come out almost every um reading i've done today um but she is pointing she does know what cup she wants but it is a challenge to get that cup and and then here's the chariot this is also and this deck, it's it is a challenge. It's conflict. It's aggressive. It's it's a certain aggressiveness in others. Okay, and this is also the Cancer card, right? There could be um. There's also an Earth sign here too. This could be you or somebody else, but there's this uh, confusing energy, like uh, maybe too many options, uh, not knowing which to choose, whom to choose. Um, this is goal of action and project. This is a new creative venture. So this is wanting to start something new. Wanting to create something. And that's in your environment. So I feel like, you know, you want to create something, but you got to take a time out. Because there's got to be this um, spiritually going within, right? Okay, and then we've got the four of wands. This is all about reward after hard times. Okay, or or uh, not, that, not only that, but... A uh, reward of, of efforts being made, okay? Or, okay? And then we have the Three of Cups here at the bottom. So this speaks of um, three-way. Uh, it's also a celebration of marriage. Um, this could be the start of a love affair, uh, birth of a child, initial stages of um, investment of, of promise, of full promise, or fulfillment of full promise. I'm sorry. This is definitely a, a very... Um, you know, this woman's about to get married in this deck, okay, and everyone's surrounding her. But this is also, um, you know, love affair. You see that in a in a three-way party kind of thing, too, okay? So then we have the King of Pentacles. This is a Virgo, Taurus, a Capricorn. Um, but this person is, is manifesting ideas, okay? If they're in your life... There, there are challenges to work work things through, right? They're very work orientated, okay, and um, they have a hard time of balancing both both sides, right? And then we have the four of swords, okay. This is the outcome. This is a quiet, um, receptive time, okay, to build up the strength that you need, and stillness is needed so that you can make decision or whatever decision you choose, okay, whatever you're going in with within about, okay. Okay, let's uh, get clarification on the death card. Four of Swords. Again, coming out of that stage and then going back into it. Transformation. Moving to calmer waters. Definitely, a lot of you guys have left a relationship and you're kind of on your own a little bit. And there's, there's, I see a lot of options. There's the Queen of Wands. 
Okay, this is a fire sign, um, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Could be the person that you're moving away from or towards. There's a three of swords, heartbreak, but this could also be a three-way situation as well, okay? You know, when you leave one relationship and you go to the next, no matter sometimes how long, depends on people how people hold on to their energy, there's always going to be one person hurt. I've got to put some clarification for Capricorn for the month of March in regards to their love. Three of Cups, the Devil, releasing things that no longer serve you, going spiritually within and, and, and leaving this behind. Releasing that, right? Releasing those burdens. What's going on with the Seven of Cups? Yeah, like I said, some of you are single. Okay, and you're really like standing in your own and, and maybe overly thinking things or this is um, um, an air sign that's uh, overly thinking things. And it could be the person that's doing things sneaky behind the back. And then you have the star, which is a wish fulfillment. Okay, but not only that, but having faith that you can make this decision, you know, stand in your own. This is you like you're Capricorn. You're so and this is so you, you know. I want to see what the chariot's about. Strength, where there wasn't balance, there uh, and there has been struggle. You do have the strength to move forward and come out of this conflict and go forward. I'll be able to some clarification on the three of cups, please. Coming out of that anxiety state and suddenly starting to celebrate. But then again, going in mentally, but it's needed because you need that um, stillness to make a decision. There's some sort of decision um, that you're going to need to have the strength to make. And there's the tower coming out of feeling stopped in the back. Wow, this is some harsh energy. You guys may be leaving somebody back away that betrayed you. Um... I'm going to go with, obviously, the error. That person's not in the upright. But um, also, um, there's this King of Pentacles here. Let me see what that's about. Definitely feel like you guys could have left an error sign and you're going to a fire sign. And some of you are just on your own. There's the Queen of Cups. I did say Cancer right there. You've got the Seven of Cups too. There's the Hermit. So this could be a Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn that you don't want to work on anything with anymore. Okay? There's no work being put in here. Right? And you're emotionally available. You know what you want. You know what you need. Too many cards. What about placing clarification on the Four of Swords? This is really harsh energy in the past. There's some sort of stability with someone, but definitely you moved away from that. There's the Emperor. Um, this could be an Aries man. There's temperance in them, but this is you, um, balancing, getting, getting your foundation back. There's two fours here, getting that balance. Uh, this is the lovers is all about choice, making that choice to, to find your balance, right? Death card again and sneaking out. Either they snuck out or you snuck out. One of the two. And then here we have the hangman. Needing to look at things from a different perspective, you guys. Okay, everything, like I said, it's a blessing in disguise. It's time to go. A lot of you, if you're tying yourself to um, 
people that no longer serve you who do not treat you the way that you deserve to be treated, okay? And there is um, some sort of um, betrayal going on. Definitely, you know, go on your own. And it looks like you are. And there's some faith here. And this is a wish fulfillment. And let me see what's going on here with the Sibyllas. So please give me clarification on the uh, on the Sibyllas. Please give me clarification. There's a birth. That's that's it. I mean, they got the death everywhere. It's being reborn again, right? I would. I, I'm surprised that the right the judgment didn't come here, but we do have the chariot. You know, in the in the hierophant and the death, there's transformation. The tower rebuilding, having to rebuild all over again. And like I said, if it doesn't resonate with you, check your sun, moon, or rising, okay, you guys? There is some sort of celebration here. And you're gonna it's gonna it's gonna cause you um to come out of this uh ten of swords. You got the nine and the ten on each side, and then you get the ace of ace of swords, right? There's gonna be some sort of celebration with that, especially with this. You've got the revival, your your um death, right? The old woman learning new lessons. Be careful with the reunions, guys. Um, because I don't there, there's some dishonesty going on here. So be careful, okay? Um, if this doesn't resonate, check your someone raising. And if it did, you can always contact me on my email below. God bless you guys. And and don't forget that this is this is happening for a reason, right? It's a blessing in disguise. Take the take the um take the um destiny in your own hands and, and look at things from a different perspective and be the fool take a leap of faith and not only that but not only in other people but take it in yourself right so god bless you guys and i hope this helped